uh, we're going to do today by the way hello we haven't done two last two weeks any videos for the recipes so today we're doing two but both of them are sweet and sour but the home style sweet and sour one is Beijing style and then one is Malaysian style but, uh, I'm going to use tenderloin pork and uh, you have to get rid of all the tendons that surround the pork so please like that you can tear it off and any fat uh, that uh, ligament you just take it away and then you've got a nice piece of tenderloin so what you're looking to do is cut it into very thin pieces and that's how thin it could be thin pieces Then, uh, okay. There's about 300 grams here. Okay, now uh, we're going to show you the compliments for the two different dishes uh, which is the colors and the, the sauces so it will be on the tray and each there will be detailed separately uh, they are on two separate trays so uh, you can look at that and then I'll show you how to season this pork before we move on so we go on to the compliments first Right, first you've got to marinate the meat. So, there is light vegetable oil, sesame oil, light soya, and wine, Shaoxing wine. Pepper, cornstarch, or potato starch. Mix it in by massaging the meat in. And let it marinate for about an hour. Right. Uh, the next step is mixing the starch. So we have 350 grams of corn starch or potato starch, about 400.4 of a liter of water, just ordinary cold water, and you mix it with thoroughly. Just fully dissolve. Right. Once you mix it up, it's already dissolved, you let it settle. And the end result is this. You see the starch will separate from the water, so it doesn't matter if you drop a exact measurement of water, you can just estimate. Then what you, I do is, I pour away this water. And this is what I want. Right, the marinated uh, pork tenderloin, what I do is I put it inside here. So what you're trying to do is get it to mix. So it's a bit of a top job, so uh, because the, the starch has settled down so you have to dig it up and mix it
Right, it's a bit dry, so I'm going to add a bit of water. Right, as you can see that with home cooking, what you're doing is checking it. So what I'm wanting to do is get a starch to mix it, and I was finding it slightly difficult, and I know that I needed some water. So that's what I'm doing. It's adding a bit of water to get to make sure it's got a of, it's, uh, the meat has been well coated with the starch. So what I'm looking for is the sort of consistency. The sort of consistency. The sort of consistency. Okay. Now the next step after this is frying. So the next one is uh, get the hot oil up to 160, 70 degrees and drop this in. When it floats up, take it out, drain the oil, uh, oil and then put it onto a drainer. Right, this is the baking style, which doesn't have a sauce, it's a dry coating, a uh, sweet sour coating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this out of oil. We start it off. So we're looking at uh, about three dessert spoonful of oil. Right. Next thing I'm going to do is mix the sugar, the vinegar, the salt, the soy sauce.
baking style, crispy pork, in sweet and sour sauce. And this is usually made for Chinese New Year because it's crispy. You just let it, it, it pork, uh, the batter on the pork absorb the sauce. And the fruitiness. Now I like a bit more sugar. So I'm going to touch a bit more sugar. pork. So you can use the same method of doing the pork or you can do your own method of crispy pork. This sauce goes with chicken, pork, but it's Malaysian style sweet and sour and fruity. No vinegar has been used, tamarind and a, 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 a half a dessert spoon, half a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to use sort of water that is sort of slightly hot but not so hot boiling and what it does is it will soak this vinegar that this tamarind sorry no vinegar so what I'm going to do is leave this to soak for a second and then I'm going to fry up the ingredients right don't need a lot of oil but just enough oil to coat your pan so about three dessert spoon full again. Onions in first. Again starting from the harder vegetable. So carrots go in. And 
and then I'll put it in my pen weight. And I've got enough water. Lower the heat because they're getting too hot. So I'm trying to get a nice little sauce. I'm going to turn it against it for a bit of juice. So I'm going to put a bit more in. And I'll bring it up to boil. Thank you. 